Hi guys and uh, welcome back to uh, another video that I'm going to be doing. So as per usual I've got to start by saying thank you very much to everybody who has been watching, liking, subscribing to my channel. It means a lot and it also helps keeps the, um, keeps the interest high and uh, gives me the motivation to carry on with more videos. Um, like I said before, if there's anything um, you need just give us a, an email and um, I'll endeavor to try and get this uh, get the videos up also if you like what you see then please uh, there's a donation button click on the link and um, send, uh, send me a coffee um, what I've had through today well a couple of days ago was a message uh, regarding the home remote app and about creating a uh, dimmable link or some way of uh, uh, dimming the the, um, the light. So, um, as per request, I am now going to uh, do a video, show you how to, how show you guys how to do it. So, uh, what we start off with. So, what I've done is I just use. Um, uh, what do you call it? I got one of my templates that I did uh, uh, for you last week. So all I'm going to do is uh, um, I've added my home center in. I've added a couple of icons in just to just to do this demo. Now the icons, to be honest, it's going to be very difficult to do the different shading of icons. So all I've done is an on icon and an off icon. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is creating a slider. And with this slider, it's going to show we have the ability to dim a light uh, from our home remote app. Okay, so that's um, that's the object of today. So basically, this is going to be part of the home remote playlist. So let's start off with by first things first is to creating an image. Okay, so. Uh, we'll just do image button and just do something like that. Say here and let's make that full size. And we're going to um, have this as the off button. So that's off. So that just shows the in the uh, the light as in the off mode. Then let's put a little label underneath. Now there's a reason why I'm doing this underneath and having the slider going up and down. Because previously I had a slider going left to right. But because I had multiple pages, it ended up sliding the whole page across. So um, that's why I'm doing it this way around, up and down, as the pages will always go left to right rather than up and down. So we're going to call this, um, I'll just call it light for now. And then this font size 20. Um, and just centralize it. There we are. Actually, let's make this bigger. Call it light for now. So that's what it looks like. So you can actually just, you can actually just move this down a bit here. So as you can see, I'm making use of the grid system here. Hence why I've got the multiple grid lines. So we can then align this nicely. All right. Now we're going to put a slider in. So I'll put the slider in there, and I'm just going to put the slider in like that. So we now need to make the orientation vertical. So we'll put that from here. So there's our slider. Here it tells us we can now set the values as minimum and maximum. So if I have the slider all the way down to minimum, effectively I can switch off the light. And as you as you know that the dimmers only work up to 99, so we'll go up to 99. If we don't want to switch the light off and we always want a minimum brightness, we could theoretically just put that here, and therefore have uh, minimum and maximum brightness levels set from here. But I'm going to keep it to zero for now. So that's what everything looks like there. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to then assign this to a device. All right, 
So let's start with um, our, our light itself. So let's go down. So event trigger and oh, got to make sure that we've got this to toggle. So let's put that to toggle. And we're going to make sure this is checked. And then what happens is it will just turn the light on. So let's just type in uh, backlight dot switch. Okay, and the value is on. Simple as that. And then what we're going to do is add another event trigger. This time as unchecked. And all we're going to do, we're going to say the same thing again. And we're just going to say backlight switch. And we're going to say it's off. There. So what we'll do is we'll save this for now. Okay. So that's saved. Um, and if we press play, when we press it, light turns on, the light turns off, but there's no change. Um, actually, let's, uh, let me put up, um, let me just bring up the home center so you can guys can actually see the light turning on and off. So let me make this into that and let's have a look. So if I do that there. And let's make this a bit smaller here. All right, I'm trying to squash all this up. So there. So click it on, click it and off. Yep, happy with that. So let's go back to here. Let it auto resize. Now, what we're going to be doing is let's update the icon. So if you remember how we did that, so we click on plus and it's a data trigger and what we're looking for is we're gonna backlight again uh, but this time on level okay and when the level is zero i.e. off then we're gonna have the property of the image set to off so that's off spot dot png but what we're going to do here is actually change this to on okay so i'll save that the reason is we can't id the um the value the reading the value reading uh, right now straight away so let's press play Light is off, so therefore this uh, icon shows us off. And if we again go back to here, turn it on, the light shows on. But if I turn it off from here, that will auto update to off. Okay, so again, on and off. Okay. So let's go back. So that's the updating of the icons, which we're happy with. Okay, now that we have the light and the icons working, let's work on the slider. So first thing we're gonna do is, rather than just having a slider on its own, I've decided what we'll do is we're gonna just reduce that down to about here. And I'm actually gonna put a label on top um, in this top gap there. So let's make this um, 25 and set that to there. Oops, horizontal to center, to center. So that looks nice. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it match to the levels. So we know what level the current light is at. So at least we've got an indication, okay? Then we've got the slider, which is vertical, and it's going to be not to 99, which is fine. 
and that value is also going to be linked to our backlight. But again, backlight.level. So let's click on OK. What that means is whatever this level is at, it'll automatically make sure that level matches. And then this label here will give us the indication of what the percentages are. Okay, so hit save, click on home and turn it on. So currently our light is off. So as usual, let me just move to the side. And let's move this page here. So first of all, we've got on, backlight on and it's at 20% and if you look here it's at 20% so now we'll just move this slider up to 57 and if you look here oh 56 it matches to 56 and make it even higher and if you look here it'll match again okay and then if you just turn it off it switches off now, mine's, I have a preset system where mine always turns on at 20. You can do that in the parameters and therefore it's back to 20%. But if I reduce it down to say three, and if you look on here, we're down to 3%. Okay. And then if I go all the way down to zero, it's switched off. So that's why I meant when I was telling you about changing that value, you can have this set to zero or a, a preset minimum that you would like okay so that is how you create a slider uh, on a particular device i hope uh, you guys enjoyed that and uh, you can now start doing all your own sliders for all your um, lighting needs and if you get around to doing the Sonos as well, you can actually use this to control the volume in Sonos or pretty much anything uh, to control your devices. So if you do have an RGBW, we could theoretically have um, four sliders to control the different levels. Um, I might do a video on that shortly, but there's some prerequisites that we need to do to make it work with an RGBW light as well. And so that one is probably uh, at a different time or a different video. Okay, so um, thank you for watching. And uh, until we meet again, um, thank you and uh, goodbye.